Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Anyfix. So iOS 15 is officially out, and of course when you update your iOS device, many issues can occur. So Anyfix can help you fix over 130 iOS issues. Things like stuck on Apple logo, a constant boot loop, your device won't charge, maybe a black screen, and much, much more. Anyfix will automatically download the right software update for your device, and it's easy to use. You simply connect your device, select system repair, scan your device, and it will automatically download, and Anyfix will do the rest. So right now you can check out their guide if if you have any specific issues to fix any problems with your device and of course any fix is available for both windows and mac computers so what are you waiting for make sure you check out any fix links will be in the description down below hey guys i the way help here welcome back to the channel and today's an exciting day apple has officially released ios 15 to everyone so if you were looking to update to ios 15 today is the day when you can download the software and these are going to be all the iphones that are going to support ios 15 so basically every iphone that's capable of running ios 14 can install ios 15 as of today now in this video I wanted to share with you guys some of my personal favorite features within ios 15 so if you do decide to update you can try them out and of course aside from ios 15 apple has also released ipad os 15 is now available and a watch os 8 as well so without further ado let's go ahead and take a quick recap at ios 15 that you can download the software today and some of my personal favorite features the first feature i do want to talk about is a live text now live text allows you to copy and paste or translate text directly from an image so this is a new feature built into the software let's say you take a picture of signs here or maybe a storefront has information like a phone number maybe an address and some text here you can see that from this text here i can press and hold and actually copy this text i can look it up or translate if i click translate here i can translate this right here to a language that i choose this is easily one of my favorite features it does so much more and i show you here in just a second you can change the language choose from any of these languages available here and once you translate the text you can actually also copy the text like this and it looks like if it was real text right but this is actually an image it's a photo from the airport right here now there's also the address of the airport so i can press and hold and this will actually take me directly to the airport using the maps application just like so so if i press and hold it identifies that it is an address and i can go directly to maps and get directions directly to the airport right there and again this works with other things like stores and things like that you also have phone numbers as i mentioned you can press and hold and this allows you to call a particular phone number if it is listed on the photo that you've taken it is easily one of my favorite favorite features within the photos application recently added now this can also identify flowers and breeds and things like that so for example here's my dog i can tap here on the screen this little eye appears on the bottom of the screen here i can tap on that and this will identify so i can look it up here it identifies that it is a dog first off and then it identifies it is my siberian husky that is a siberian husky that's my dog right there it identifies the dog the breed and right there there's additional images again this also works with places flowers again live text easily easily one of my favorite features with ios 15. now another one of my favorite features in ios 15 currently is notified when left behind so let's say you have an ipad and you're traveling and you left your ipad let's say at the airport well your iphone can now notify you before you leave that you left that item behind and now this has been a lifesaver for me that's notified me before when i left my iphone behind my apple watch or your apple watch can also notify you if you forget your iphone so uh, you can enable this under the find my network for example you can head on over to the find my application and find the device that you want to enable this feature for and right below here you find the notify when left behind option and as you can see right here i can enable this feature and for example if i walk away from my iphone and my apple watch can notify me that i've left it behind same thing applies if you have your iphone and you forget your ipad or apple watch and if you have an air tag so you have air tags for maybe your wallet or maybe your keys it will also notify you if you left those items behind as well easily one of my favorite features features in iOS 15. Another great one is focus. Now focus is one of the biggest features coming to iOS 15 in my opinion and allows you to set different modes throughout the day depending on location and or time. So for example if you set your work address on your iPhone and you set a work mode every time you arrive at work the iPhone will only send you notifications from the apps that you select or the contacts that you select. Now you can also set a personalized home screen and lock screen. You can use the time or the geolocation 
application to enable these features automatically. So if you like to focus on certain tasks, let's say you like to go to the gym and you only want uh, gym related applications to notify you, that will happen with the new focus mode because you can set so many options and so many modes and you can also create your very own. So this is pretty much personalized home screens and notifications for iPhone with focus, one of the biggest features and changes that you'll find within iOS 15. Certainly one of those that you're going to want to try out. Next, I want to talk about FaceTime. Although one of the biggest features announced for FaceTime SharePlay has been delayed, there's still some great features added to FaceTime this year. You have Create Links, which allows you to share this link, a FaceTime call link, with another user, even an Android or Windows user, so that can join the FaceTime call with you even if they don't own an Apple device, which is also welcome. Now, in Control Center, FaceTime now gained two additional options. We have a Video Effects, which allows you to enable portrait video for FaceTime call, which is really cool. It keeps you in focus and the background will be blur. Hopefully Apple will build upon that as well. And then you have the microphone modes. You have standard, which is the standard obviously. You have voice isolation, which works really well. If you're talking to someone and there's background noise, this will isolate the voices and the noises in the background and only focused on your voice. It works very well. And then you have the wide spectrum, which allows you to have you know ambient noise and other voices in the background as well. So if more than one person is talking on a FaceTime call. It allows you to use the wide spectrum. So three new features for FaceTime. We have the create links to share with Android or Windows devices to join a group FaceTime call. We have the portrait mode video and the voice isolation, which is amazing feature built into FaceTime as well. Another great feature coming with iOS 15 is drag and drop. And this goes throughout the entire OS. So for example, if you're in Safari and you find several images that you would like to share, rather it is via message, maybe add it to a note, or I'll create a new album within photos, you can tap and hold on an image and then continue selecting all the images that you want to save here. And I can drag and drop this to files, as I mentioned, maybe a conversation thread and message to share. I can put it into notes or create a new album and photo. Drag and drop is easily one of the coolest features in iOS 15. It also works with the photos in your photo. It's right here in the photo application. So we select multiple photos here and we can take these into notes, messages, files, and so forth. This also works with links. So if you want to select multiple multiple links and share them into the notes and the messages you can do that as well so really cool drag and drop features built in to iOS 15 that I think you guys are going to really love. And last but not least, I want to talk about one of the coolest features and improvements to the iPhone with iOS 15 and that is the ability to find your iPhone even if it's powered off. And this goes back to the Find My Network as well. So iPhone is foundable even after power off. So when you go to power off your iPhone, you have the option to turn this feature off. But this feature, as it implies, it allows you to find your device even after it's powered off. And this has been something that many users have been wanting for quite some time. And there it is, iPhone is foundable after powering off. Again, Apple has added incredible amount of features to iOS 15. There's also additional things like transfer and get ready for other iPhone, where you can transfer and uh, delete the data from an existing device to transfer to a new device. You can deactivate the Find My, transfer the wallet information and your Apple ID. I mean, there's a lot going on with iOS 15, although there's some features that did not make the cut. Apple has added some great features to iOS 15. You're gonna really like the software update. I'm pretty sure of that with also additional options for notification, new looks for notification, weather notifications. It's a great day for iOS. So iOS 15 officially out. Let me know in the comments down below if you updated. What is your favorite feature so far with iOS 15? Enjoy the new software update, guys. I'll see you very soon. Peace.